This is the uh, Jukebox Zero. It allows you to play nine different discs, um, either using a keypad automatic mode or it has an automatic sensory mode as well that will choose the correct song for you. There's three different types of sensors on here. This is a microphone, a photoresistor, and an RTD for temperature sensing. Um, once it selects either loud or quiet, it has a bi-directional selection for these. Um, so choose one of the other ones. So there's a total of eight different possible moods that you could have in the environment. Um, based off of which of those moods, it'll play the um, pre-programmed and perfect song for that specific mood. When it starts out, it starts playing the default song. This is our volume control. And if you can hear it, it's Jukebox Hero by Foreigner. On startup, it asks for a CD. Uh, once you select a CD, it'll ask for a track number. It will then select the uh, right CD and display the album title on the LCD as well as the track number. Below is the DVD player's uh, actual readout, so we actually have an up-to-date time on what the uh, track is in. And we also have a song list of all our CDs and track numbers. Um, it knows whether you've entered a correct, correct CD and also it goes up to the correct track number on the CD. If you enter a track that's not on there, it won't let you enter it. All right, we'll select Jimmy Buffett, CD number 7, um, select, then we want track number 7 as well. And there it goes. We'll pull out the CD. Puts that back. Gate closes to keep it in there. Goes up to the next. Grabs that one out and drops it down in the tray. From there, it begins to load the CD. And if you can hear it, the volume. Getting up to San Francisco mm -hmm. for the Labor Day. So, uh, we're going to demonstrate the automatic mode real fast. Right now, this room is hot. It's, the sensor just said it's hot. Um, it's currently quiet. We turn this down, and uh, by covering these lights up, it's going to simulate it being dark. Then from there, now that we have the settings, we're going to push pound, which hits the automatic mode. An automatic engage display, and it tells you what CD and track is being selected. And if it is quiet, warm, and dark, what you can think about what track you would like to hear. The great feature about this is that the jukebox knows the mood of the room, and if you're not willing to sit here and leaf through the book to find the perfect song, it'll hit it for you. Just to show it's not a fluke, we'll go to another <laughs> automatic sense. Right now we're uh, still high on uh, the temperature, and it's still quiet, but we have light this time. So now if we hit automatic again, it'll be a different CD and a different track. Uh, primarily, the LCD and the user interface is uh, driven off the keypad. Um, both of those integrate into an EDE-1144 and an EDE-702. They communicate serially with a, uh, we call the main pick, and that's right here. Uh, it handles most of the you know, uh, organization of all the functions. It communicates with the sensor pick above, and to the right, a, the arm pick, which controls both DC motors, the H-bridge inverter, and the stepper motor, as well as the CD tray for all operations of retrieving CDs. It has nothing to do with the automatic sense because all it gets is the CD number and when to open the uh, tray. Up here is a diode array, which is used uh, in conjunction with the stepper motor to make sure there's no flyback voltages. Below it is the pick, below that is an H-bridge, and below that's an inverter. Um, also the power for the DC motors are handled by relays, and we also use track selection in the CD power and play buttons and the open and close tray with the relays, sending from, getting from the pick. And this is the uh, amplifier for the speakers. It runs off the pot here, which is integrated into the flyback of one of the op amps, and then to another secondary op amp here, and then a transformer finally before being filtered. Um, the automatic settings work here. Um, currently, we have a hot room, which is in 
indicated by this. We have these little cheating LEDs in here so we can know what setting it actually is on and we can predict it better. But it's hot in here. Um, as you can see, if I cover up these LEDs, it'll send that light low, which uh, it then communicates to the pick below to select the disc and we know what setting we're on. Uh, the noise works a little differently. Works like that. It takes an average every five seconds of this light um, or of this input from that light as to how many, how much vibrations in the room from airwaves and such. And uh, this is just another power source here for all this.